Hi, I'm Rodney here from Wholesale Automatics, and today we're going to talk about Cummins 6BT and how to install them into your Nissan GQ or GU. So let's check out the kit. Okay? Now this is specifically for people that actually want to put an automatic in. Okay, this is a whole kit that we're actually doing for a customer. We'd like to thank Lee for volunteering his kit today as well. And this is a heavy duty extreme 4LADE with all the adapters, both front and back, all the coolers, cross members, the computer systems and everything. We'll go through each bit as we go. All right. As you know, with a 6BT, you can run them completely standard or you can wind them right up and they can put out some pretty silly, you know, talk. Um, a standard 4LADE would work well with a completely standard 6BT that hasn't been wound up at all. All right. Now remember that this kit is specifically for the Nissan GQ or the GU. All right. Now you can buy this kit many different ways. You can turn around and you can use a standard automatic, uh, a second hand automatic, or if you are going to wind the wick up a little bit, you're going to do, have, need to do what Lee's had to do here, and that is put a, an extreme 4 l in. Now this is a bit of a collaboration and I would like to thank uh, Roland from Custom Engineering and Mechanical. I would also like to thank uh, Mike and also Guy from HGM Electronics who are the designer of the CompuShift that runs this auto. And also the guys over at Patrol Apart, um, Aaron, um, Paul and Shorty. They've all contributed to this kit <coughs> and without them this kit wouldn't actually be here for us today. Now. I'll go through each bit. Obviously the 4 l pretty well speaks for itself. It's a heavy duty extreme one. This particular box has been built to hold about 1600 Newton meters. And it's a bit of give and take um, because it very much depends on um, whether you tow or you don't tow or how much of a hard time you're going to give it. Right? <coughs> so we build them very specifically for engine outputs. Some of them are built uh, and done for a standard engine, some of them are done for a quite the extreme side of it. And the auto part of it is pretty good. The torque converter makes a big difference. So we'll start off with the torque converter. This torque converter has been built and she'll handle an easy about 1400 Newton meters. We have two different versions. We have a billet like a mild that's up into the sort of the 1800 and we also have the top end multi-clutch um, lock-up plate ones which are up into the 2000 Newton meter range. The box itself have heavy duty 300M input shafts. All the internals are cryogenically treated. The case is physically tunnel aligned. And what we mean by tunnel aligned is that we actually line the transmission case in the lathe. And instead of machining the tunnel, we actually spin the entire case and actually machine the front surface. So the front surface then becomes absolutely dead square with the tunnel of the transmission. Um, obviously we do upgrades. You can use full manual valve bodies. We tend to shy away from them a lot. Technology has changed an awful lot now where all the, the modern computer systems that we use, and obviously we choose the <coughs> CompuShift system. Um, the good thing about the CompuShift system is it's actually IP rated. It'll actually run underwater, right? So all those people that are worried about getting things dirty in the mud, in the water, deep river crossings, this thing will still run even when your snorkel's underwater. So it's the least of your problems. Um, also, it comes with all the wiring harness and everything. We won't pull it all out. There's already enough on the table today. It comes with a complete harness, displays. And the best part about this particular computer system is that it's Bluetooth connectivity to your iPhone or iPad. And all these things make for easy setup. You can put your own personal settings in. If you need any help for us, it's very, uh, very easy for us to turn around and be able to help you. There is no other system in the world like it. Um, so that's why we turn around and we love this system so much. And we actually use it on many different conversions, so it is extremely well tested. We put them in all the brand new 79 series that we do, the manual to auto conversions, the Nissan patrols, the whole lot. So it's certainly been around for several years and this new system works a treat. Obviously, we start off with the rear adapter. Um, Roland's done a brilliant job with this. <coughs> it's a very short adapter. And part of the job when we actually build the 4 l e we actually do have to trim a little bit off the output shaft to keep it down. Roland's done it in such a way <coughs> that he's trying to fit such a big engine and a transmission into a Nissan GU or GQ. This particular kit is for the GU. Um, and you'll see the big, the big actually transmission mount is bolted on underneath. And we've used 
um, a massive cast aluminium pan to go with it <coughs> as well. And he's done a really good job. It's a beautiful machining work and everything. <coughs> there is no spud shaft between the transmission and the transfer case. Instead, Roland actually remachines the input gear to the transfer case. So when you do buy this kit, you actually do have to do a, trans a, a changeover input shaft gear because they actually re-spline them. So this is the input um, gear that goes on and it just goes on straight from the transfer case straight in. That means that there's no, nothing in between. Bolts up, shortens the whole thing up, which is really, really good. So this comes with part of the kit. All right. Obviously, we have the front adapter, and the front adapter is also pretty thin, and he's managed to keep it nice and thin by changing the starter motor. Some of these starter motors have a really big nose on them, and because of that, means you have to run a really fat adapter. He's done a brilliant job. And the kit comes complete with obviously all the crank spacer and all that. We actually supply the, um, the crank bolts. We use an ARP set of crank bolts and all that. We've got the drive plate and everything. It's a very heavy duty. It's a very thick drive plate. So it's built for this conversion. As we said before, it's a very short starter motor nose. This is a brand new starter motor that we use. And believe it or not, it's actually a ZD30 starter motor. Who would have thought that the ZD30 would have been handy for more than one thing? <laughs> one, because of the starter motor, and two, it gives us the perfect platform to pull the engine out and put a big monster in like this. <laughs> right? So it works really, really well. But they're a high torque starter motor from factory, so they handle the engine really, really well. All right? We've got also inhibitor switches that we supply as well. They go straight on the side of the, the transmission here, which handles all your neutral start, park, reverse, all the rest of it like that. So that's all in there. The computer obviously handles all the gears, the shifting and all that. The coolers, I know a lot of people don't like to run a Toyota cooler, so it's not a Toyota cooler, it's a Lexus cooler. <laughs> For those that are a bit worried about putting a Toyota part in a Nissan, they're a brilliant cooler, we love them. These are Lexus and they come with the word Lexus on the box. So there you go. All right. The lines we use, they're a good line, they're a good pressure line. We actually insert these lines into a flexible conduit, which just stops them from rubbing, stone strikes, sticks, all the rest of it. Let's face it, the type of people that are building and wanting these type of conversions are going to use the motor. They're either going to tow a lot, or they're going to go out and do a lot of off-roading. That's what we like to do. The cross member at the back here is actually a ZD30 manual cross member. Um, and thanks for the guys patrol apart. They supplied some of the parts here to help us complete this kit. And this bottom mount that comes from Roland actually gets welded in the center here, all right? So this mount is, um, with the reason why we choose this cross member is that it's in the perfect position for this mount to just go straight on and work. We'll work up to the front here, because <coughs> a lot of people want to know what we're talking about here. These are the engine mounts. So we're not just talking about a transmission to engine adapter. This is fairly well a full kit. These are the weld on chassis plates that go on to the side of the, um, the, the, uh, the chassis and they're actually all welded in in sections. So what happens, because they've got to go on in pieces, they're actually disassembled and then you actually, as you're welding them, you're piecing them together as you're welding them onto the chassis. Then it goes on, we've got them out and obviously on the Cummins, we've got the other half and it completes a kit, all right? Bit crude to explain, but you get the general idea. So this whole kit allows us to get the whole thing welded in the chassis, and then gets our engine centered perfectly. We've got the rear cross member, we've got everything in between to bolt it up. We've got the nuts and bolts, so the bolts, the adapters on and everything. We've even got the torque converter bolts, a heavy duty set of torque converter bolts and everything like that. This is an entire kit. Filler tube, dipsticks, all the cooler unions are all done. We do do a couple of grades. So if you want a secondhand gearbox or run something like that, we can still help you with the parts. We're not trying to sell you a whole kit, but if you do need any of the components, the computer system, coolers, lines, filler tube, dipsticks, adapters, whatever, you know, we've got the whole kit. Um, some people might turn around and go, look, we need a built box. This is the way we do it, okay? So a special thanks to all the guys that contributed. Um, they did a fantastic job. So a special thanks to um, Roland um, from Custom Engineering and Mechanical, um, the guys down at Patrol Apart, our friends 
overseas in California from HDM Electronics to do the Compu shift, and obviously all the team here at Wholesale Automatics. And um, if you have any interest in this kit <coughs> or any of the parts, please give us a call. And it's 039-762-8004. There it is. Or jump online and it's www.askauto.com.au.